Well, our first guest today is Mr. Ryan J. I said it. He's a TV host. He's a movie critic. He does it all. And you've got actually a couple of movie club announcements that you want to start with, too. But we want to um, get to one of those in just a little bit because right. we're actually going to start with a couple of your movies, right? Well, including first, The Hobbit. Right. We're going to get to that in a second. First, I want okay. to talk about the first movie club for next week because I'm doing gotcha. two. And the first one is for This Is 40. It's a new comedy directed and written by Judd Apatow. And it's starring Paul Rudd and Judd Apatow's real life wife, Leslie Mann. And I'm going to be doing the movie club for it. It's mo this Monday, December 17th at 7.30 p.m. You have to arrive by 7 to get a reserved seat. And in, in order to enter to win, just go to my Facebook page. It's uh, Facebook.com slash Ryan J Reviews. You'll learn there how to enter to win a free ticket to come and join me at the screening on Monday night. And this looks cute because when you and I were watching a movie the other day, they had the preview for this, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, this is a really cute one. I like I like Paul Rudd. I love There's him. a scene where he's like dancing behind, I think, his daughter or something mm -hmm. in, in his boxers, and it's it looks he's hilarious. Funny. He's funny. I think he's very cute. Okay, so that's one for the movie club that yes. people can come out, join you if they're so lucky to do so. How yes. about The Hobbit? That's the one we're moving on that's to, That's what's right? opening today, The okay. Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. And this is the, the first of a new trilogy of films following the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Same director, Peter Jackson, who's really the man to bring these books to life. He is such a, a geek for Tolkien who wrote The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And he so lovingly and painstakingly adapts these movies. They're absolutely gorgeous. I liked this movie, The Hobbit, actually better than Lord of the Rings. Okay, because I was going to kick off on that word painstaking because I felt like the Lord of the Rings when mm -hmm. I watched it, I couldn't make it through at all. Right, and actually this movie is a little bit like that. For the first 90 minutes, I was incredibly bored and I was out of it. It's very confusing, all the locations and the names, all that backstory and history, all the Lord of the Rings stuff, but it turns such a harsh corner halfway through and becomes one of the most stupendous effects adventure films mm. I've ever seen. It's overwhelmingly good. Is it very long? It is. It's like three hours long, but he okay. does that. And again, it's kind of slow. I wanted to nap for the first 90 minutes, but then it gets so great, it's awesome. I would love to see you napping in movie theater. It's, it happens, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. What did you think of the director? You said he's kind of a fan geek. What he does really that mean? is. It's kind of like if they were going to pick somebody to direct a new Wizard of Oz movie or something Harry Potter, like you'd want to come to someone like me who's like foaming at the mouth, passionate about that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Peter Jackson is that guy for Lord of the Rings. I mean, it's the most lovingly adapted movie you can imagine. Okay, we got to move on to your interview for Les Mis because this is the movie I cannot wait for. I said last time I'm going to hold my breath until mm -hmm. it comes out. So you had a chance to talk with some of the cast members. I did. It's opening Christmas Day, the new movie musical based on the beloved Broadway show. And I talked to Eddie Redmayne, who plays Marius, and Samantha Barks, who plays Eponine. She's the girl who sings On My Own in the film. My so favorite let's, song? Let's take a look. I'm so excited about this movie. It's absolutely astonishing. And I love musicals. And there's a lot of singing in this. There's a lot. <laughs> what would you say, though, to some people who are really curious to see this but don't necessarily like musicals? It has action. It has comedy. It has revolution. It has sort of social stuff. And it's got a bit of everything. Yeah. It's like several genres of film all in one. Yeah, it's got something in it that everyone leaves talking about a different aspect, I think. Right. But yet leaves feeling something, which I think is, is kind of the main aim with with art, really, that's what you want. This show, it's so beloved, one of the most seen Broadway musicals ever, West End musicals, and now here you are immortalizing these characters that are Ooh. iconic. <laughs> immortalizing is a terrifying oh. word. Well, that's, it is terrifying, so yeah. how much pressure did you feel knowing that this is your one shot to get the song right and it will be forever immortalized that way? A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Because they're such iconic roles, and a lot of people have certain ideas of how they'd like it done, and all you can do is kind of do your most truthful interpretation of it. and right. This film, it felt like a passion project for everyone involved. So Hugh Jackman and Russell and uh, Annie, I mean, Annie Hathaway's mum had played Fontaine uh, in right. the touring version. So everyone had like a, a massive sort of connection with the work. Yeah. So there was a sense of intrepidation, like, is this gonna be everything that we hope yeah. it will be? And we're so proud to be a part of it now, but certainly at the time it was intimidating. And it's really such a game changer for movie musicals because you sang live as opposed to lip syncing, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I know it allows for a more emotional performance, but what were the challenges in singing live? The way these songs are written, they're operatic, and they're written to be sung once a night by incredibly highly trained singers. So the difficulty was that if, you know, if a take wasn't good enough, you'd go again and again and again. So it, was, it felt like going yeah. into sort of marathon training in order to wow. be able to do the songs again yeah. and again. Meanwhile, you guys just completed this amazing achievement in film, movie musical. 
it was for Universal. They have the rights to Wicked, so Alphaba Fierro, maybe you guys can start campaigning. <laughs> I've never seen Wicked. I've what? Heard it, I know, I've heard I, it's I extraordinary. I talk about it a lot. Sam, Sam has been telling me that I have to see Wicked, yeah, but yeah. I've Absolutely. heard it. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, he has to see it. Like, he has Would you to do Alphaba in the film? Uh, Alphaba is like the reason I actually went into music theatre and thought I'd want to do that as a job. Mm -hmm. So it's very exciting that that it's even being talked about as a film. I'm talking about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. English accents make everyone a little hotter, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. And people can come and see the film with your movie club. That's right. I'm so excited. This movie's awesome. So join me seeing it this Tuesday, December 18th at 7.30 p.m. E email me. Go to facebook.com slash ryanjreviews to learn how to enter to win for this one. It's a free ticket. You'll get a single ticket to join me, and I hope you can make it. I'll be there. Yes, you will. I cannot wait. I've seen it like 10 times <laughs> on stage. And here's where you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Twitter. He's at Ryan Ryan J Reviews. For all his full movie reviews, you just need to check out his website. It's RyanJReviews.com.